Now, if Eleanor were here in 2018, seeing everything that's going on today, what would her response be and what message would she deliver? Well, the first thing she would do is create a poster that would say, Emma Gonzalez is my patroness. <laughs> <laughs> because, um, and I, you know, and Ellen was gone on. I, I'm just saying, I'm using that as an example of a young person who didn't fold, who continues to believe that the world can be better in the, you know, in the space of horrible personal tragedy and just taking on everybody, man, and taking it on it in a way that is, okay, I know I'm right, I'm not gonna run over you, but I guarantee you're not gonna run over me, you know? And we're gonna figure out how we're gonna move this sport and we're gonna vote it through. So she would, you know, she would look, she would pick great poetry. And uh, there's huge documentary of that. I mean, she was, um, she, um, one great outer story is the summer she was dying, she had 103 fever, guys. She was bleeding from the back of her throat. And she couldn't eat. She had to sip her food through a straw. And um, she came down to breakfast one morning, and she was humming. And one of her secretaries said, no, this is a heart. You're in such a good mood. Like, I don't know what I'm on, man. You know, you've been to who I want to be. And this is a quote. She said, Maureen, I had the greatest dream last I dreamed I was marching and singing and sitting in with students in the center. And so nothing gave Eleanor more joy or comfort or courage and you see young people take it and look at 